In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the accompanying icons for a uh, fake branding project for an artisan bakery. I'll be using a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, size medium, and Adobe Illustrator. I'm using our pressure sensitive brushes and this Wacom tablet to start roughing out the shapes of the pretzel. I'm going to flip my pen over and use the eraser uh, on the end to carve out some negative space and apply lines and shadow. And here I use the multi-touch capabilities of the tablet to zoom in on the canvas and to drag the artboard around. Being able to move between using the pressure sensitive pen and touch is a really natural feeling way to interact with Illustrator. I just flip my pen over again and I'm using the eraser to sort of draw in some little dots, uh, some salt specks onto the shape. Because we want our logo to be monotone, to be black and white, and to reproduce well in different contexts, we really want to use a minimal amount of color and styling. So instead of adding new colors, we can just use the eraser tool to draw using negative space. You can use the eraser by flipping your pen over to refine and rough out the shape and to get your icon looking uh, nice. And there we go, our pretzel. So now I'll show you how to draw the croissant. So I've just grabbed a big pressure sensitive brush and I'm drawing the outline of the croissant and filling it in. And then I'm going to get a smaller brush to make sure that all of our edges look good and to add in some little bits of extra detail. So now grab the knife tool and draw lines with a bit of curve across the shape. What the knife tool does is it cuts shapes just like a knife along the lines that you draw. You'll then be able to manipulate and move each section as its own separate object. So here I've just moved each section over a little bit uh, because just like with our pretzel, we want to use this negative space to imply lines and shape. So here I've just grabbed a small pressure sensitive brush and I'm using it to add in some detail around our new edges and then flipping my pen over and using the eraser to add, add a couple of little spots to the croissant to give everything that extra bit of detail and the handmade artisan feeling that we're after for our set of bakery illustrations. Of course, if you need to get a closer look at your work, you can zoom in using the multi-touch capabilities of the Wacom tablet, just two fingers with like a reverse pinching motion. There's no need to use a keyboard or mouse. And there you go, croissant. Now we're going to draw our bread loaf, and this one should be pretty simple. So just grab a big pressure sensitive brush and draw out your shape. Don't worry too much about making it perfect. It should be rough and loose. We don't want it to be perfect. And then just flip over your tablet pen and use the uh, eraser to draw some lines across the top of the bread loaf. Because we've selected a pressure sensitive brush for the brush tool, the eraser will use that same brush. You can press harder or softer on the surface of the Intuos tablet uh, to get different line weights. You can grab a smaller brush to add in some extra detail and using the eraser, just like with our uh, pretzel and our croissant, you just want to add in some little dots for that distress feeling, sort of like flour. You can use the eraser to, to carve out a little bit of extra detail along the top in conjunction with a little brush, just to refine the shape and give it that little bit more detail. And there it is, our loaf of bread. <laughs> 